Net is the website. <clears throat> and um, today I'm going to talk to you about a subject that is very delicate and also very controversial. Um, because a lot of Christians don't understand it. But once you understand it, it's going to help you take authority and dominion over the things that um, aren't God's will on the earth. And the subject is the sovereignty of God. Now, a lot of people have this false belief that what happens, happens because God wants it to. Or what happens to them, God allowed it to because God will give you, won't put more on you than you can bear. Or um, that everything that happens on the world in the world is God's will. And because of God's sovereignty. But that's a lie. That's not really what God's sovereignty means. God's sovereignty means that He can do anything He wants to do, but only within the limits that He already made. Okay? And there's one limit God already made that makes Him not sovereign on the earth. He can't do anything He wants to do on the earth. And that is... He is a man of honor, and he's a God of honor and integrity, and he honors his word. And what he said in his word was, let us give man dominion and authority, and let them rule, subdue, and have dominion over all the earth. And he, so he gave us, so we became God of this earth, and the Bible says that all his children are called gods of this earth. In other words... Uh, a dog creates a dog, a camel creates a camel, God creates God. We're not God that we can do whatever, we are God's under rulers, um, under His authority. In other words, we have creative power when we speak to create things. And we're the only species on the earth that has that because we're created in God's image. We have God's DNA in us. And the sovereignty of God is only according to what his word is and his word gave man dominion on the earth so that's why it says if two of you agree on earth it, it will be done and, uh, and anything you ask my father it will be done um, God can't just jump in there and save uh, do something for somebody save somebody rescue somebody unless somebody is praying for it even though it's God's will and he died for everyone to be saved everybody won't be saved because man has sovereignty of God does not override man's will. Um, he won't get somebody saved just because they need to be saved. Somebody has to be praying. Praying is giving God permission and authority to do something about the situation. So when you understand that about God's sovereignty, you'll understand how to pray. Um, now, by the stripes of Jesus you have been healed, and his will was in going to the cross and um, taking those stripes he took every sickness and disease from us and going on that cross he took away the curse which is every sickness disease poverty lack and fear and gave us the blessing of Abraham which is financial material prosperity because they were not a um, saved people so they are not spiritual they could only be blessed by God in the physical uh, realm of finances and prosperity uh, of material things so I lost my train of thought there anyway so yes Jesus took all that on the cross but that doesn't mean that everybody will be prosperous and rich and blessed and healed healthy and saved and according to people God's sovereign will would be that well God did all that but first you have to accept Jesus you have to confess and believe and receive and walk by faith you have to receive it by faith okay so his sovereignty only goes as far as his word does and he honors his word so you have to intercede you have to pray and you have to bring about change that's why prayer is so important so that's it for today on the sovereignty of god and go to my website robinbremer.net and press the subscribe button um and like it on facebook um i i just really feel as though we need to and the end is really close we just my desire is for christians to walk in God's presence and power now. We Christians need to be the people multiplying the bread, the fish and the loaves and uh, the food, changing the water into wine, walking on water, uh, manifesting abundance, getting our money out of the fish's mouth. We are supposed to be walking in that kind of power today and it's going to get ugly here in a little while and so now is a good time to begin to practice walking in these things 
healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out demons. That's all our authority and our right. And Jesus paid for us to walk in those things. So my name is Robin Bremer. Check out my website. Get my Bible study. Um, my I have uh, six books uh, that are going to be published uh, in September. Four, four or five of them will be out. Uh, a couple more, a couple months after that, will be published by my publisher. So get my published book when they're on the bookstores. Get them free right now on my website until the public my publisher makes me pull them. Um, so um, that's it, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.